I'm part of the Criminalistics Bureau. Um, the Criminalistics Bureau um, is made up of the Forensic Laboratory. We are one component. We have about 78 individuals that work in the Forensic Laboratory. The Forensic Laboratory, um, in addition to processing evidence from crime scenes such as homicides, sexual assaults, robberies, kidnappings, drunk driving cases, seized drug cases. We also utilize three primary national databases in order to help provide investigative leads to our detectives. Last year alone in 2020, we entered over 7,000 cartridge cases into NIBIN and produced over 1,800 investigative leads related to those cartridge cases. I am constantly amazed on a daily basis at the type of individuals that we have working for the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. So to date, since 2016, the Forensic Laboratory has processed over 9,700 sexual assault kits um, from 1985 through the present. We have entered over 2,500 DNA profiles into CODIS, the Combined DNA Index System, and we have, we've obtained over 1,400 DNA hits or investigative leads. The, the types of um, investigative leads that we provide not only help solve cases locally, but they also help solve cases nationally. We've had hits to over 25 different states. I am very, very proud to be a part of the Metro community. I am very proud to work for this agency. I am very proud to work for this department. I'm very proud to be the, the director of the Forensic Laboratory. Every single day we are working with our officers and our detectives and making an impact on the safety of Southern Nevada. All the evidence that the Forensic Lab ends up analyzing is picked up by us. So I would say this is the dirtier side of the job than, than the lab. We've had to climb into dumpsters, we've had to go into washes, you have to go into um, homeless encampments. A lot of what we do is actually for the public. Typically when we meet the public, it's on the worst day of their life, and that could be from a burglary that happened to their house all the way up to a homicide. So we run the gamut of all types of calls, um, but really what we do is for the public. What a lot of people actually don't understand about this job is actually that there is a lot of science behind our actual job. Typically for the public, it's a lot harder for them to realize that it's not going to take an hour. <laughs> you know, it typically takes days to weeks to months and even sometimes years to get through a case. So between us going out to the scene and collecting evidence, we do also sometimes latent print process or chemically process or bring chem blood chemicals out to scenes. But once we bring it back to the lab, we're going to package it. We might further process it with more chemicals. Um, but then it gets sent over to the forensic lab, and then the forensic lab does their analysis. They're a great group of people. I love them over there. They further on the investigation. Then on top of that, you have the detectives, and then you have the public, right? So sometimes the public is actually extremely helpful in solving cases, especially when we put it out to the news. Hey, hey, we need some information. Hey, does anybody have information or video on this particular case? We've actually been able to solve some cases through ring doorbells or um, people calling into Crime Stoppers. So, um, you know, yes, we do our job and it's a lot of fun and we're out there on scene, but it takes a lot of different people to actually complete one investigation between us, the forensic lab detectives, and even the public. And then that evidence is impounded at our evidence vault. Our evidence vault is, has about 41 individuals and they also work tire, tirelessly to house and ensure the integrity of that evidence is properly stored so that when it comes to forensic analysis, we can do our part. Evidence is anything and everything that you can imagine that's collected at a crime scene. The Evidence Vault has about a million items in inventory. We have 83,000 square feet of storage space that's in three different warehouses. Uh, we receive approximately 17 to 18,000 items in a month. That's about 3,700 items in a week. It could be anything from your trace evidence, like your hair fibers, all the way up to sofas and refrigerators, to biological evidence, such as your sexual assault kits and your DUI kits. Uh, the Evidence Vault has received many unique items over the years. Many of them are remarkable. Many of them are associated sometimes with big names, famous names. Uh, even things that are not even from our planet end up at the Evidence Vault, such as some meteorites that we received once. As, as we know, uh, police often respond to the most deepest, darkest days of people's lives. And the property and evidence that's collected in those incidents is what arrives at the Evidence Vault. 
And so that's why we have to uh, preserve this evidence to the same level regardless of the type of incident because these, this evidence represents victims of those moments in their lives.